Shake Table Lab by Kathy Joyner and Gabriella Valle. We are sketching a model of our structure. In the beginning, we decided to base ours upon an electrical tower, but we soon realized that this would not work because we did not have enough straws. So, we decided to create a whole new and original design. After settling on a design that we thought was reasonable, we began to build the second story. Next, we added cross braces so that the building would not collapse once weight has been added to it. We added a fair amount of cross braces to make the building very strong and sturdy. At this stage of construction, we examined the construction paper to make sure it could hold the weight of multiple sandbags. We cut tape so that we could add it to the structure. A large amount of tape was added to the base so that the building would not fall off the base once the earthquake began. After finishing our tower, we labeled it with dimensions and measurements. When we tested our structure, it seemed to be very sturdy, but when the earthquake occurred, the building began leaning towards one side, which showed us where the building lacked support. We decided to add tape and string to certain connecting straws and weak areas in order to strengthen those parts. We added string to contain sandbags. The strongest parts in our tower include the double cross beams because in the beginning of the project we became carried away with the straws so we reinforced the base more than the top section. This lack of reinforcement at the top section and a large amount of reinforcement at the bottom section made the building unbalanced. Our tower's weakest parts were underneath the second story and the two sides on the first story with the least amount of straws. Underneath the first story, there was a vertical straw to make sure the sandbags didn't make the tower sink. By using too many straws on only two sides of the first story, we didn't realize we were making the other two sides with less straws weaker. We made the other two sides weaker because the weight from the sandbags could not be supported evenly. We used most of our string to secure the sandbags so that they wouldn't move. We wrapped the string around the small pieces of straw so that we could put the sandbags under the string so that it would hopefully stay there. We used a large amount of tape to secure the cross beams. However, we had not taped the section where they intersect, so they bent outwards once pressure was added to it. If we had extra straws, we would use them to create a larger platform so that we could fit more sandbags. When we saw other buildings being tested, we noticed that most of the structures had large platforms to hold more sandbags. We also noticed that most of them had reinforcement on the frame of the structure, so we would also use them to reinforce the frame. From this, we can tell that our building experienced more stress on the x-axis rather than the y-axis. This pressure probably caused our building to collapse.
building supported 7 sandbags. Our building failed because of the double cross braces. We did not tape them, so they broke apart when we added another sandbag to the top. I want to make the base a little bit larger, and I also want to slant the bottom story slightly so that it would be much stronger. I think that I would also want to secure it better with tape. I learned that the base is the most important part. The reason why I think this is because our base seemed to be very strong, however, it was the base that broke. We thought our base would be fine, but as soon as we started adding weight, the base became weaker and weaker. I like that we had different challenges to defeat. For example, I enjoyed the fact that we had to survive a minor and a major earthquake because it showed us the difficulties that real architects have to go through. I also liked working with my partner. <laughs>